Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show. We are back in Beaufort on Boundary and we are visiting with Captain Craig and Molly at the Sea Eagle Market. Hi, how are you doing? Very good, how are you? Have Orchid? you been busy? Pretty busy. <laughs> I believe so. Now, so we're gonna be doing, um, we did shrimp last time mm -hmm. and we're gonna be doing a little bit of tuna and talking about your catering. Okay, Awesome. Very good. So how are we gonna start it off today? Well, let's start out by making some blackening spice. Perfect. I love blackened tuna. Me too. It's my wife's favorite. Is it? <laughs> Well, then that means you have to eat it then, all okay. the time. <laughs> so some smoked paprika. Okay. I love the color. Some cayenne for some and, heat. And that's what's going to give it the heat. Then we got some secret spices here. Oh, some man, thyme. I thought he was going to give it all to us. <laughs> some thyme, oregano, All maize. the good stuff. That's what makes it mm -hmm. all different. Oh, and there's mace in there, too. Mm -hmm. I like that. So love then it. we're just going to kind of whisk all that together now, a little bit. If I don't have all of those, like your secret, stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have it um, already. We do. I mean, you have everything. I was checking out your uh, pantry over there and what people can buy. I mean, you've got the sauces, you've got the sides, you've got the foil and you've got the oil. I mean, well, you've got it all for them. Go. I love it. I love it. So very good. We'll go ahead and cut this uh, tuna loin here. Beautiful. Now, what type of tuna is this? This is yellow fin. Okay. And this is something that you can get at your place. Mm -hmm. Do I have to order ahead of time, or okay. it just depends if it's still here or not? Yeah, well, we, we get it in two or three times a week. Okay. So we're just going to lightly dust the, uh, the tuna here. And now tuna, this type of tuna, you might see you might in like a sushi or something like that. Bit. Sure, I'll turn that up. Mm -hmm. um, you might see a sushi, but here we're, we're going to sear the outside of it, right? Right. We're just going to um, do a, a light sear, do a meat to medium rare right. temperature. Right, because this is a fish that you can eat at medium rare. Abs you don't have yeah. to cook it all the way through. Correct. If you cook it well done, it's going to be dry. Have right. a tendency to be dry. So you keep the moisture in and it's fresh. Right. So. And so it's okay. People don't get scared. <laughs> you think, can eat it that way. I think the key to uh, fresh seafood is, is undercooking, not overcooking. Right. People have a tendency to, to overcook seafood. Because they get nervous mm -hmm. about it. But that's something um, that's something that you can definitely cook to me. And this one's going to cook pretty quickly. But I'm going to give you this. But while that is cooking, you guys are really big on catering this time of year. Well, all the time, but this time of year is great. Right, the what fall are, is, is a great time for parties and get-togethers. Right? And what kind of, um, I know we have this beautiful basket here, but I don't want to overcook this, so I'll, I'll we'll flip that. it real quick. Yep. Because you have a lot of people that are asking for low country boils and oyster roasts right. this time of year. So let's check this out. And I just love this. I know that I've seen you do this for small parties where you do it individually, but this mm -hmm. is actually a low country boiled basket. Right, of and well, goodness. we cook it all together except for the shrimp. It goes okay. in last, of course. And to, tell our to, viewers to, who haven't had low country, but what's in a low country well, boil? Well, this is some andouille sausage. Love it. Some sweet corn, red potatoes, and local shrimp. And your local shrimp. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this all gets put together. And why do you have it in those? I mean, I love it that way. I think right. it's great. Well, we have portion control so right. we can uh, serve it and keep it hot and fresh. Yeah. Instead of cooking something for 200 people and it sits out for two hours. Exactly. We're, we're constantly serving it up fresh. Now, let me just grab this really quick. Excuse me, it's my. And of course, oyster roast. Right. <laughs> Probably the most popular thing we do right? local clusters. We fire roast or steam. Okay. Um, now what's the difference? Real quick, on well, a fire roast versus steam. We have steam. a rotisserie mm -hmm. and it, we use uh, wood and it's it's cooked old fashioned. Old fashioned way, right. And when I grew up, everybody cooked uh, over wood. Okay. So you got a little smoky flavor. And that's flavor. directly over the, the well, heat. And, and ours is a Southern Pride rotisserie. Love so it. you're getting, you're getting <laughs> even cooked. Yeah. And then um, the steam is obviously just cooked in water. Beautiful. Uh, so we beautiful. need to pull this. Yeah, let's pull this because I can see it's still medium rare. It's beautiful. And the smell is wonderful. You can smell all those secret spices that you have. Look at that. And you guys can see it's still medium rare right there at the, right? You can still see that beautiful mm -hmm. pink color right in between. Got I'll it. go ahead and turn this off. And now, just going back real quick to these. Um, I've seen at one of your events that mm -hmm. you uh, that you can do, especially for like weddings and things like that. You'll thank you, Miss Molly. You can put those actually, so everybody has their own individual mm -hmm. bag. But these are for bigger parties, and right. but then every single person, because I know I've been that person who talks too long, 
and I'm having a, maybe my glass of whatever for a little uh -huh. too long, and I'm at the end of the line, and I'm trying to scoop through, and I don't have anything except for the potatoes. <laughs> right. So we do individual bags. It's real popular for weddings. Yeah. So we have individual bags. And that'll have, it'll be a little bag, mm -hmm. and they grab their own bag, open Correct. it up. It's going to have the potatoes, the corn, the sausage, and the shrimp in its bag. So you just grab a that bag and go. That is perfect. That is, I mean, it's genius. I love mm -hmm. it. So, but what type of time lead do they need if they need to call you about a catering? Because you do it all. Yeah, I would call in advance. The yeah. sooner the better. <laughs> not um, the day of. Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> but you can actually go on site and do everything, right? Right. We cook it's on perfect. location. It's perfect. All right, well, let's just show us this beautiful piece right here. Mm -hmm. So you've got that beautiful... Um, a yellowfin tuna, but I can see there, it's still, if you look here, it's still that great medium rare, yeah, right? Nice Good deal. and medium rare. And I know you guys are also, thank you, Miss Molly. And real quick, if you could I let us- I want to do the yeah. Greek sauce. Oh yeah, definitely. Sorry. So, I'm just like, excited to taste it. <laughs> so we're going to just dress this with a, a local Creek sauce. South Carolina certified. It is, and we can, uh, what we're doing with the, um, that's not wanting to come that's out too right. well. That's all right. Looks beautiful though. Now with that, South, you have a lot of South Carolina certified products that you sell right. in-house, and you yourself are South Carolina certified. Absolutely. This is a new company. The Creek Sauce mm -hmm. is, is a local company. It's be becoming very popular. It's delicious. But we work with the Ag Department real close, mm -hmm. and we're I'm a member and a, a board member of the South Carolina Seafood Alliance. Gotcha. And so we're working really hard to promote South Carolina seafood Absolutely. and keeping South Carolina seafood in we've, South Carolina. We've got great food, great produce, great seafood in our state, and we re and you're very good at pushing that, and I think that's awesome. We've, and Molly, I think you say it best. How does it go? <laughs> From our boots to your table. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Captain Craig, and we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you.